it's the end of the world as we know it. So let's face facts. We do have coming in confirmed reports of nuclear detonations. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 fallout facts. For this list, we'll be looking at the most interesting tidbits about the Fallout franchise from its start in 1997 to today. This can range from in-game secrets, recurring characters, homages to other franchises, behind-the-scenes information, and other facts that make the post-apocalypse a more interesting place to try and survive through. With that said, let's crack open the vault. Well, you don't have anything to worry about. Can't find my knife. <laughs> Number 10. Man's Best Meaty Friend Fallout series the dog meat canine family name is one that's been passed down from doggy to doggy since 1997. We're first introduced to him in the original Fallout, but sadly, our furry friend loses his life. The next set of dogs you meet in Fallout 2 and 3 not only carry the dog meat name, but according to the developers, the third dog is a descendant of the first. <laughs> it's also confirmed that man's meatiest friend will be back in Fallout 4 and cannot be killed this time. Phew. You want to come with me, pal? <laughs> Number 9. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy Fallout 2 This particular gem is for the sci-fi fans out there. More specifically, fans of Douglas Adams' Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy may notice something in Fallout 2. There's a part in the game where you come across a splattered whale surrounded by blood and a pot of flowers. It's odd to say the least but it's also a clever nod to a certain part in the popular sci-fi franchise that involves missiles, a sperm whale, and a bowl of petunias. Hello, ground! Their dig at Indiana Jones in New Vegas was good, but this is better. Stars of the midnight rain. Number 8. Say No to Drugs, Fallout 3 It's no secret that drugs are bad, so we won't get all after-school special on you. However, Australia might. Drugs have always been part of the Fallout franchise, but normally drugs are given made-up names. So when developers decided to put the real drug, morphine, into Fallout 3, Australian censors protested. This led to the drug being revamped as Medex, which actually fits better with the trend of having made-up drugs anyway. So in a strange twist, censorship worked this time in the game's favor. Crazy Wolfgang's got just what you need. Number 7. Enter the Thunderdome Fallout series The similarities between Fallout and Mad Max aren't too surprising for fans of both franchises. <laughs> What's a little fallout, huh? But we'll mention some of our favorites. The back cover of Fallout 3 is a callback to the iconic image of Max and his dog, and there's a leather jacket you can wear in the games that makes you look exactly like Max. I mean, look at you. You couldn't even drive a wheelchair. You can even meet Mel Gibson in Fallout 3. Uh, sort of. There's a character named Mel who carries an unloaded shotgun just like Max. So, close enough. Uh, hold it right there, sister. You're giving me everything you own. Uh... Number 6. The three that never was, the other Fallout 3. Say nighty night and kiss me. What if Fallout 3 had been done by the publishers of Baldur's Gate 2? What would Fallout have been if Black Isle Studios had had a hand in its creation? Well, to be honest, they did for a short period of time. Dream a little dream of me. Codenamed Van Buren. The game was all set to be developed by them until the end of 2003, when, on December 8th, the PC development team was laid off. I'm longing to linger till dawn, dear. Not that we don't love what Fallout 3 is now, but damn, that's harsh. Sweet dreams that leave all worries behind you. Number 5. Ooga Booga New Vegas. Fallout New Vegas. Would you like a cookie? If you want to get a feel for what it was like back in the Stone Age, well, this isn't terribly accurate because it's one-sided, but it can still be entertaining. Just because I work in entertainment doesn't mean I'm a moron. If you want an extra challenge as you traverse the Mojave Wasteland, create a character with only one intelligence point. Your dialogue will become kind of disjointed, much like a caveman. They bring you in to replace me? They're replacing me, aren't they? 
Of course, most NBCs don't like talking to a caveman, a fact they will surely remind you of. Brain, smart, heart, stupid, spine, very stupid, you, exceptionally stupid. Number 4. Spot the Mutant Tree Fallout series Can you help a poor mutant down on his luck? <laughs> we just love recurring characters in video games, and apparently the developers of Fallout do too. Meet Harold, a mutant who made his debut in the original Fallout. I'm cranky old and I've been that way ever since I changed. He may not be too in tune with Mother Nature, since he has a sapling growing out of his head, but he takes it in stride by calling his natural headpiece Bob or Herbert. Jealous? His name's Herbert. I talk to him when I get lonely. <laughs> Just kidding. His name's Bob. Sadly, Bob becomes too much, and by the time we get to Fallout 3, all that's left is Harold's face in a now fully grown tree. You have no idea how glad I am to hear that. Or we're glad to hear that. Me and Bob. Number 3. Built for Tough. Fallout 3. That's what we're led to believe, but not even Ford could survive a nuclear apocalypse. Tell me all about it. The cars in the game bear a striking resemblance to a model of car from 1958 called the Ford Nucleon. It was going to be nuclear powered and use a steam engine like a nuclear submarine, qualities that the cars in game actually have. <laughs> God in heaven, would you listen to yourself? Unfortunately, these cars in the game are useless and explode when they take damage. Maybe it's best that they never made a lot of these. Looks like you pulled my fat out of the fire again. Thanks. Number two, late for the war, Fallout 3. My God. We, we need to get to the vault, now! The Great War is the reason behind the desolation of Fallout, and the terrible tragedy started and ended on October 3rd, 2077. In 2077, the storm of World War had come again. In two brief hours, most of the planet was reduced to cinders. No one knows for sure who launched their nuclear weapons first, but what we do know is that it only took two hours to destroy the world. Few survived the devastation. Some had been fortunate enough to reach safety, taking shelter in great underground vaults. We also know that October 23rd was when the game was supposed to be released. Unfortunately, it was delayed a week, therefore missing the war by seven days. Oops. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. Before this video comes to an end, let's open a bottle of Nuka Cola and toast these honorable mentions. The tiny male is downstairs. He won't be coming with us, will he? <laughs> Number one, back to the start, Fallout 3. To the future game developers out there, do not toss out those old sketchbooks full of your drawings and initial ideas. You never know who will need them. In fact, they may become the cover of one of your future titles. That's exactly what happened with Bethesda and Fallout 3. In 2004, lead artist It's Van Pelly sketched the game's very first piece of art. Surprisingly, that piece became the face of the game four years later and is still as iconic today. We'll never crumple up our sketches again. Do you agree with our list? Look, I don't know who you are. Which of these facts are gonna help you get through the nuclear end of days? For more apocalyptic top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You're not gonna hit me, yell at me, not even berate me a little bit.